Now, if you're making a list, you'd be hard pressed to find somebody in fiction that's tougher than Kratos. I ain't lying. The man's been through a bit of everything. Now, that doesn't mean he's not without his faults. That doesn't mean he hasn't had to hold a couple of L's. Because he has. As a matter of fact, he's been to the underworld a few times. He's died a couple of times. When you're beefing with gods, when you're their arch nemesis, call it an occupational hazard. Let's talk about Kratos' first trip to hell. Let me give you the quick rundown. Kratos asked for Ares' help. Ares agreed to help him out and had Kratos doing all sorts of messed up stuff. And in return, Ares tricked Kratos into killing his own family at which time Kratos started having all these crazy nightmares. Athena came to him, told him that as long as he completed this one last task sheet, rid him of the nightmares, and asked that man to kill Ares. See, what you gotta understand about the Greek gods, none of them liked Ares. They all had their reasons, especially Hephaestus, but none of them wanted Ares around. So they enlisted Kratos to take him out he went to Pandora's temple, and in Pandora's temple is Pandora's box. And inside of Pandora's box, Zeus has the power for a mortal to become a god. Now why he creates such a thing, I am sure I don't know. But this is Kratos we're talking about. This is where the bad assness kicks in that I was telling you about earlier. This man solves the puzzles, traverses the traps, and claims Pandora's box for himself now after a thousand years pandora's box was at last freed of its confines kratos had found the means to destroy the god of war far away in athens Ares knew kratos had succeeded in his quest so little spartan You've recovered Zeus's precious box, but you will not live long enough to see it opened. I will see to that. Goodbye, Spartan. You will rot in the depths of Hades for all eternity. Freeze right there. The god of war, Ares, snuck attacked Kratos. He sneak attacked this man. This dude is the god of war, has all kinds of power, all kinds of combat skills, is an expert with all weapons and in all fighting styles. And do you think he wanted to give that man a fair fade? Nope. He saw that Kratos was the first mortal to claim Pandora's box for himself in a thousand years. And he thought, you know what? I want no parts of that. Let me grab this big ass rock and just throw it at him from 50 miles away instead of giving him a one on one. Mm, mm, mm. Even a god had to sneak attack that man instead of giving him a fair fight. That's how big of a threat he is. That's how big of a threat Ares saw him to be. And he was right in the end, wasn't he? Let's continue. Travel through the desert of lost souls. Go through Pandora's temple and get Pandora's box. Just to be sniped. Mm, mm, mm. As the minions of Ares claimed Pandora's box, Kratos' life faded, and his cursed soul was cast into the fires of Hades. And Kratos fell into the underworld. So that's how he got here, to the underworld for the first time. But if you know Kratos, you know he had zero plans of staying here. The river sticks beckoning below, the current strong enough to carry even the strongest mortal to his eternal resting place. But Kratos had no intention of resting yet. Oh.